Hello everyone, this is Gustus Liebertus, and this is episode 11 of my Minecraft survival series. And today, I have probably one of the most adventurous things we're going to do in this series, and that is we are going to go to Minecraft Hell, otherwise known as the Nether. It's the place of demons. But first, I want to show you guys some things that I did. So... I'll show you guys what I did. As you can see, my armor, I I spent a bunch of XP enchanting it. And I made a murder hole system. So the idea is that monsters think this is a solid block, so they'll walk over it. It To them, it technically is. And they will fall in here. And as you can see, there's a little hole. And if we go back inside and... I'll show you another secret. The oldest trick in the book. So, watch this. I know, it looks like I just went through a solid wall, but actually, you can place a painting on the side of these fences. The one sad thing is this, if anybody sees a painting, they will automatically try to walk through it. It is possible. Oh, I like that one better. So you can hit them through here and they can't see you or fight back. And I also dug another level with a mine and a little enchanting room. And over here we have an armor dispenser, so if we ever die I have extra armor in here that we can just quickly put on. But, we, like I said, we're going to the nether. And so, we need to make a portal. To make a nether portal, you need 10 obsidian, or 14. If you only have 10, you can just fill in the corners and build it like, um... Just fill in the corners instead. So now, we have our portal. And you're going to want to dig out an area on all the sides so that we'll be able to get out once we go through. Like this. And light it up. And as you can see, we get that purpley effect. And the weird sound. That's why I chose to do it underground. So that if you're up here, you don't hear that. We will need a little bit of extra wood, extra picks. Um, take some dirt and some gravel. And yeah, I think we're all good to go. So, to you might have guessed already that to go through the nether, we just have to walk through the portal. And you have to sit here for a little bit. Then it'll load the nether. And as you can see, it's a pretty gloomy looking place. Ooh, that's a lot of lava. So take a look around. So the stuff you're gonna see the most is this, and this is nether rack. Netherrack is pretty much everywhere. There's also Nether Quartz, which looks like this, and it is actually one of the fastest ways to get XP is mining Nether Quartz. Which, and the reason we want to go here is there's so many materials which we must have. There's some zombie pigmen over there. I don't know why there aren't any over here. So, I'm going to mark the coordinates of our portal so that we can find our way back. Okay. I hear a ghast. Ghasts sound like cats. Because actually... The create the person who was recording sounds for Minecraft, he was recording and his cat woke up and they distorted it. Oh hello. 
This is zombie pigmen. They are like wolves. If you hit them, all them will come towards you. But if you don't, you will be perfectly fine and they will just stare at you. <gasps> Ghast! We need to kill one. Oh, he despawned! Crud. So you want to be careful here because it's really easy to end up in lava or fire. Because it's everywhere. This. Oh. If you see glowstone, you'll want to go up and mine it. So just make a pillar up. And then just go out like this. And you'll make a little platform. So I'll meet you guys back here once this is done. Okay, so I finished our platform. So now you can mine glowstone. And it'll drop glowstone dust. And the reason we want the platform is so we can mine it. And it'll drop the stuff on our heads instead of down into a pit of lava or whatever. Make sure when you're building a platform to hold shift. Because if you didn't know, when you hold shift, you can't fall unless you jump. Can go back for the rest of that. So zombie pigmen are neutral mobs, which means that you have to hit them for them to become hostile towards you. Oh look, it's a baby! Hey there. Oh, another one. They will spawn in any two block space in the nether, no matter what the conditions are. So there tend to be lots of zombie pigmen, unless it's in peaceful mode. And I should tell you something, do not be afraid to turn it to peaceful mode if you're um, nervous or if it, things are getting out of hand. It is a perfectly good thing to do. I do it sometimes. Not very often, but occasionally things will get out of hand. So, we are looking for something. And what we are looking for is a nether fortress. Which are structures in the nether. Made out of nether brick. Let's go this. So to find a nether fortress, you can just basically go east or west. Because they go along a north or south so it'll be much easier to find them if you travel east or west. So do some looking around and once I find one I will let you guys know. And then we can go explore it. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Endermen will occasionally spawn here, so be careful of that. I'll see you guys in a bit. So, I haven't found what I'm looking for yet, but I found these guys. These are magma cubes. And they are hostile to you, and the bigger ones drop um, magma... I can't remember what it's called. Magma cream, that's right. And we need that for brewing potions. Is that another fortress? No, it's just a void. So I just wanted to show you guys that they spawn occasionally here. And just thought you might want to be aware. You can kill them. If you find bigger ones, excellent. Kill them. You will need their cream. Oh, another gas. Maybe we can kill it this time. So they do that. You can hit the fireballs back at them, or you can try to shoot them. And there's actually an achievement for hitting it back at a ghast. Die. Need 
to get closer. Ouch. Oh, there's another one. Ah, got it. <gasps> he dropped a gas tier. So we won't kill that other one. We'll let him live. This is a gas tier. We want to make sure we get those. Okay, so now that I've shown you some more of the mobs, I will continue my search for the nether fortress. See you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, so I found a nether fortress. It was directly below where we were fighting the ghast. So this is what it looks like. Oh, this is a blaze spawner. I turned the difficulty off, which is why it's not spawning anything, but as long as this is active, it will continually spawn blazes, and they will shoot fireballs at us, which I'm not really ready to handle just yet. So, the nether fortress is a maze. There's all kinds of... <gasps> a chest! Yes! So, there are chests everywhere. If we find stairs... Oh, no, those aren't the right stairs. There are some stairs that have nether wart. <gasps> Golden horse armor for our horse. Um, I'm going to leave the golden armor there. But we can put some of the stuff we don't need. Empty bottle. Let's turn this all into glowstone. Um, we'll put in... I guess that's all for now. So just wander around and look for chests and things. And if you do have the difficulty on, um, you will want to look out for the skeletons. Because they will try, there are wither skeletons that will try to kill you. They are really tall. And so if you make a two block gap for you to stand under, they can't hurt you. <gasps> yes! Just what we needed, nether wart. So you're going to want to collect all this, um, and the sandstone too, or the soul sand, sorry. Because we will need this for it to grow on. And when we have potions, we can give ourselves magical abilities. Oh, more! And more chests! Well, I'm gonna loot around and grab stuff. And I'll meet you guys back here once I'm done.